One of our users, Alex, wrote us that he upgraded his iOS in his iPhone 5 to iOS 10, and it started freaking out on him. So he wanted to know if it was possible to downgrade his iOS. Well, short answer, Alex, yes, it is possible to downgrade your iOS, but you're gonna have to go into DFU mode. What's DFU mode? It's device firmware update mode, and it's primarily used to downgrade your iOS, but it can also be used to install custom firmware to jailbreak your phone. It's different than recovery mode because recovery mode is going to give you the latest version of iOS. We figured other people might be interested in DFU mode, so today I'm gonna show you how to get your iOS device into DFU mode. Okay, so first plug in your phone to your PC or Mac. iTunes should launch automatically, but if it doesn't, go ahead and launch it now. And then you're gonna wanna turn off your phone. In order to get into DFU mode, you have to press the power button and the home button. But the process is a little different with the iPhone 7 because the home button is solid state. So first, I'm gonna lead you through the process with iPhone 6S and 6S Plus and older, and then we'll go in how to do it on the iPhone 7. First, hold your power button down for three seconds. Then put your other finger on the home button and hold them both down for 10 seconds. Let go of the power button and keep your finger on the home button for an additional five seconds. If you see the Apple logo or plug into iTunes, bad news, you did it wrong. But don't lose heart, start the process over. If your screen is black, then congrats, you're in DFU mode and now iTunes should be able to detect your phone. If you're ready to get out of DFU mode, go ahead and press the home button and power button at the same time for 10 seconds or until the Apple logo comes on. If you wanna put your iPhone 7 in DFU mode, the process is similar, but you're going to need your power button and the bottom volume button. So I'll show you that process now. Press the power button for three seconds, then press the lower volume button and hold them both for 10 seconds. Then let go of the power button and hold the lower volume button for five additional seconds. iTunes should be able to detect your phone. Okay, so when you wanna get out of DFU mode, go ahead and hold the power button and the lower volume button for 10 seconds or until the Apple logo shows up on your phone. If you mess up, don't worry, we mess up too. We had to do this a couple of times to get it right. If you have any other questions you want us to answer, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on everything we do here. You can follow us on Twitter at iFixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit.